When talking about premium luxury vehicles, certain names and brands come to mind like BMW that we just recently reviewed and of course, the star of this video, Mercedes-Benz. And when we think about these names, let's just be honest here, certain demographics just instantly comes to your head. Maybe you'll say something like, oh, those brands are just, you know, for the established individuals, maybe with money to spare. And while we can't deny that there's some truth in this, that's not entirely the case since these brands specifically Mercedes-Benz actually came out with a lineup that's meant to be aspirational vehicles of sorts that you know younger folks can look forward to attaining. We're talking about the A-Class and we have the sedan model right here. Hey guys, Kevin here, you're with the Modern Creatures and welcome to another video. This is our 2022 Mercedes-Benz A180 AMG line review. Starting with the exterior, there's no denying that you're face-to-face -face with a premium sport sedan. And since this is the AMG line, there are sprinkles of extra accents and highlights both out here and even inside. For starters, it has a pair of AMG line LED high-performance dynamic headlamps. While that might sound a bit technical, it just means that they light up the road better at night while using less energy. They also have a more distinctive look. Up front, the diamond radiator grille will not go unnoticed, especially with its premium-looking chrome pin design. They just grab your attention and act as a sophisticated bling on top of its sporty front fascia. And speaking of sporty, you have large intakes down here, complete with splitters as well as a lower lip that frames this area. The overall protruding design also makes it stand more aggressively. While things are more on the sporty side up front, the rest are somewhat toned down and more elegant with a flowing design and chrome accents, as well as leading lines for the sides. Heading towards the rear, things begin to shift to a more mature tone, but still with hints of speed. We see the edge of the trunk that kind of extends to a really short tail, and of course, this pair of dual exhaust tips that are just more for show. What's interesting though is the extra attention to detail that the company has put into this vehicle like this Mercedes-Benz badge on the headlight and even putting the signature of Gottlieb Daimler on the windshield, one of the founders of the company, among many other things. And finally, rounding up the exterior are these 18-inch wheels with AMG alloy rims. For the exterior, I like how this vehicle has that classic Mercedes-Benz styling. It has those flowing curves and straight lines that all together combine premium quality and also sophistication but at the same time with a hint of sportiness. I also like that the use of chrome trims aren't over the top and look just right. But really, it's the diamond radiator grille with chrome pins that just sets this vehicle apart and puts its design on a different level. Well, for me at least. Open its doors and you're welcome to a redefined interior. Starting with the interface, they look very up-to-date and modern, if not a bit futuristic. The vehicle is equipped with a 7-inch digital instrument display that updates you of important settings and information, while a separate 10.25-inch touchscreen is also available for media and other driving-related features. That's all very well and modern, which are great, but Mercedes-Benz wants to elevate your experience further and you get this touchpad down here at the center console for a more tactile experience. And of course, you also have controls up here so you wouldn't have to let go of the steering wheel for more common commands. And you can somehow already see that by offering three ways of operating its head unit, the user is given options to choose which is most comfortable for them. And when it comes to user experience, this means a lot. Moving on, the cabin gets the AMG line treatment as well, combined with metallic accents and gloss black trims scattered inside. These are seen evidently on its aircon vents, steering wheel, and center console. Speaking of its aircon vents, the company says the entire look was inspired by the one seen in aircrafts, and it adds a nice contrasting old-school vibe to its futuristic displays. Plus, they go very well with the seats wrapped in Artico leather and Dynamica microfiber that together give the interior a very premium racing feel. This continues to the dashboard and we see stitchings that add extra value of craftsmanship 
horsemanship when you're seated inside. Driver gets sports pedals, thigh support together with the front passenger, and seats that are bolstered very well. With their time with the vehicle, the seat really centers your weight as to not throw you around corners and keep you comfortable. The interior is also spacious even with up to three passengers. A total of four is doable but might not be the most comfortable. For connectivity, you get USB-C as standard for wired but Bluetooth is also an option. I personally love the different premium materials used for the interior, especially for the door panels as they really give that premium and sporty vibe. For its features, you have the usuals like push to start button, electronic driver and passenger memory seats, and compatibility for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. But it also comes with a lot of features that you don't just see anywhere else. For example, it has seat kinetics, which slightly adjusts and moves the seat orientation in intervals to minimize fatigue from long drives. It basically lets your muscles breathe throughout the drive. Another thing is the MBUX or the Mercedes-Benz user experience. This uses the usual voice command technology. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Activate seat kinetics. By saying, hey Mercedes, it activates the virtual assistant and helps you whether you need to navigate to your destination okay, or make calls hands-free. But what's interesting is that the software learns of your preferences over time and remembers small details. For example, it remembers your favorite route to work and the playlist you listen to the most so that you get a more personalized experience. In terms of safety, the Mercedes-Benz Intelligent Drive will assist you and is basically a suite of advanced assistance systems for enhanced safety while driving. Of course, you have your reverse camera and sensors to guide you especially in tight spaces but it's also equipped with active braking assist that warns of possible collision and applies automatic braking if needed in case it senses that you're bound to hit an obstacle. It also comes with active parking assist with Parktronic that takes over your steering and guides you once there's a parking slot nearby. We were able to try this out in a tight space and the vehicle was able to steer itself successfully into a free parking slot. It could be a really useful feature if you need it, but if not, it's mostly for showing off, in my opinion. But on the road and with you behind the wheel, you get to taste the difference of driving a Mercedes-Benz with its refined experience. Unlike other sports cars I've driven that are somewhat hostile and abrupt when it comes to acceleration, the Mercedes-Benz A180 has a gradual pickup of speed so things are smooth and composed versus an equally powerful vehicle that feels more like it's been itching to get out of its garage. And this refinement in performance for the A180 is experienced whether you're on a steady highway or taking on winding mountain roads. We were able to experience both and prove that it offers a more composed but agile performance even on zigzags compared to other vehicles. It was able to keep its passengers stable instead of being thrown around which, of course, resulted in a very comfortable drive. Considering how effortless it was for the A180 to launch itself from being stationary, the same is experienced when you need to come to a full stop. Braking engages right away but somehow feels like it ensures a gradual application of your input so as to not experience sudden jerks from braking too hard. Driving this vehicle essentially makes your passengers feel comfortable right away while you, the driver, is then treated to all the bells and whistles that the company has to offer for this model. For handling, it really has a refined steering and it really leans toward the direction that you lead it to. So that's a good thing, especially when taking on curves. But on top of that, you get to feel that feeling that sets vehicles like these apart from the rest. And those are usually in the smaller details where it matters, like precise steering input, gradual and smooth pickup of speed, and even braking, ease of accessibility of its features, all rolled up in one premium and sporty sedan known as the A180. The 2022 Mercedes-Benz A180 AMG line is priced at 3 million and 90,000 pesos. Again, this is not an affordable vehicle, but could easily be something you could save up for as a young professional in order to get that refined craftsmanship and refined driving experience at a more attainable price tag. And that's about it for our 2022 Mercedes-Benz A180 AMG Line review. As always, visit our website and follow us on our social media pages for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, that's it for me. I'm Kevin. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again in our next video.